So today's the final day right before LSD. Uh, we just have a few little minor things just to touch up, but for the most part, we got a lot done. So here's that first coat. You can see why I put plastic because that oversprayed all the way down here. You can see it. But yeah, that overspray went all the way down. Looks like, yeah, it looks like it's been stopping around here. We actually went through and touched up all of this right here. It's uh, solid black now and it's not faded. Uh, we touched up the bed box, so it looks like brand new. Uh, I mean, all it was was a rattle can, but we went through and touched that up. Uh, we're gonna go to a vinyl shop and make sure we get our Voodoo and Bolt Lock ones on. My Voodoo stickers won't be here in time and I promise they might have it you know, their sticker on for LST. So gonna go get one made. My bolt lock, I put it on there, came out crooked. I unstuck it and I just screwed it up. So gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna go through and hit this with a ceramic coating today. Uh, well, it's just ceramic coat spray, but just for all the bugs and stuff. Uh, it says use three layers, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, we put the new Power Stroke emblem on because the old one was still chrome. We didn't fix that and rotated the tires. We're gonna go ahead and pull this LED strip off that sits in there because it's out on those sides and I hate these wires right here. It's so ugly, it bugs the crap out of me. And touch this up as well. We pulled this off, sprayed it, and it's actually beating this water off, so that's kind of neat. But you can kind of see that all through there, it's beating it. Uh, but I mean, we still got a few little things to touch up and we'll post an update in a minute. LST prep. So my wiper blades are messed up, but I always get one really expensive one for 20, and then I really get the cheap ones for like six bucks. Driver's side, expensive, cheap on the other one. So we are in the shop. If you guys haven't seen this video on the new headlights, make sure to check it out. It's a one right before this one, uh, but I'll turn around to kind of show you why I'm replacing these pods. Whatever. I'll tell you why I'm replacing those pods right there. So these things have a bad, see that one's not bad. That one's fine. But these get condensation in them. And then what happens, that condensation drips down and gets in the little pod or the little ring and they don't work. Which this one's fine so far, it hasn't yet touched that. So these two still work. But this one over here has already touched. Uh, you can see the condensation already get to the bottom of this and that whole bottom lines out, that one's fine. So I knew that this was going way too smooth. I knew there was something that was gonna be wrong. This freaking tailgate, I was pulling it off here and it freaking slid off, smacked right there, dented and scraped all the way down my freaking tip or whatever you call it, hitch. <sighs> no way literally just put that thing on why so we are headed to lst uh we're up at 5 a.m we didn't go to bed till like one o'clock in the morning we ran into so many different issues last night and we we're just running around putting the decals on um the headlights i was fixed a wiring issue one of the pigtails on it wasn't allowing me well, one of the left headlight would go out sometimes while I was driving, but it was just the pigtail was so old and worn out for me unplugging it, plugging it on, putting different types of headlights in it throughout the years. And uh, so that pigtail was wore out and we just duct, you know, electric taped the crap out of it. And it worked for a while, but it was shutting off on me while I was on the highway. I'm like, I can't have this at te in Texas. So I bought a new pigtail, wired it in. Uh, I wired things backwards, so I only had my low beams or my high beams, and I didn't have high beams, so it's just a huge ordeal. Tailgate, there is no tailgate. We have this freaking, where's my finger? This stupid netting back there. But, I mean, yesterday I was literally ready to give up, and luckily Jordan was here to help me. She's awesome, so. Just getting some diesel and we're gonna drive where we think it'll probably take like 150 bucks to get down there i i think it'll take like two tanks and a half so like 140 bucks you know 140 160 something like that so i mean we'll probably spend like 320 there and back and then probably another full tank just driving around down there so it's probably gonna be almost like 400 bucks in diesel but i think it'll be worth it so uh 
I guess we'll slowly kind of just vlog this as we go on. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget, like, subscribe, tell me what you guys want to hear, what you want to see, and thank you for watching. These are the tolls that we pay for these awesome roads in Oklahoma. Good thing they put all that money towards the roads. You know, Missouri doesn't charge for toll fees, but our roads are nicer than this. So thanks, Oklahoma, for always giving us shitty roads to drive on. Oh, yeah, look at that smooth ride. Can't even tell those bottles are there. Uh, so bad i hate this i hate this state it's horrible so here's our first little stop we just had to use a restroom titan's doing good so far got jordan and cosmos whoops jeep over here so just got a little snack just to get us by and then we'll probably eat here in like three or four hours something like that so we finally have made it to Texas. Screw Oklahoma. We're very up. The roads are still rough a little bit. But I mean, screw Oklahoma. Those are horrible roads. And I'm just happy to finally be in Texas. So at least if we break down, we put on Snapchat that we made it to Texas. Uh, Cos was right behind me. We had to stop one time to fill up. Uh, he was at a quarter tank. I was about half. So we'll probably be stopping again here in another three hours for him to fuel up and we'll probably be an hour away, hour and a half from Texas then. But thank God we finally made it. We are slowly getting there. Knock on wood, everything's running fine. Please, let's just make it. And just, I'm just really happy that we're in Texas finally. So stay tuned. We hopefully next video we'll be at a gas station either broke down or well next clip will either be broke down gas station or made to the hotel <laughs> so i guess this is big city living here three lanes completely clogged up everyone trying to squeeze in bumper to bumper and it's probably gonna take like 40 minutes to get through here or something man this freaking sucks i i kind of miss my country roads now stop we are 30 minutes away just putting a little diesel. My brother was out of gas on his Jeep, almost out. So we just went ahead and put a little more diesel in. I still have almost half a tank, so I just went to put 20 bucks in. Might as well since I'm here. And uh, yeah, about 30 minutes away from our hotel. So next clip should be our hotel. <laughs> we have finally made it. Cosmo's Jeep and the old 6.0. Pretty cool little hotel. It's got a bunch of nice little palm trees. Jordan over here. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Well, it ended up being like 10 hours or something like 10 and a half or something with all the stops and the food breaks. We're exhausted, so I think we're gonna take a nap and then drive around town and see who all is here. This is just a recap of everything that went down on this truck. We are here in Shenandoah, Texas. You can see that I do not have my tailgate. That's one of the biggest issues that I ran into. So we'll kind of just kind of get into the issues we ran into, but luckily made it. So most obvious thing on this truck is the netting tailgate. You saw the video where I was trying to pull this off. My girlfriend was inside and I was trying to get all this stuff done as fast as I could. So I tried to do it myself. That side was already off. And this has to go up at an angle and pull out to get it out. And this thing's super heavy. Well, not super heavy, but I mean, being on one side trying to pick it up, it does not really work. But I ended up picking it up. I tried to hold the weight here. That weight just slid completely on. There was no stopping. I tried to hold it, but it just went straight down, hit the corner of that, scratched it. The dent, we tried to pull it off with one of those plunger things, would not come out. And either way, the scratch went all the way through the dent. So, tailgate delete. Uh, we went through, we touched up these. Oh, you can't really see it. But we touched up the little, where the center cap's supposed to be. It was kind of chipping, so we touched that up. Went through the frame, hit that. Leaf springs hit that. Uh, repainted this whole bed box. Looks like it's new again. 
Uh, went put our new sponsors on there: JNR Designs, Voodoo, and Boltlock. Oh, can't open the door, but redid the panels inside and the little strip in there. Touched up the coils, touched up front of the frame, touched up the axles, put new halo pods in them. These actually have six pods instead of four, brighter, has a lot more features and even has the chasing halos. One of the biggest and my most favorite things, my new headlights that I built, uh, built them for around 200 bucks. Uh, Titan emblem from my newest sponsor, JNR Designs. Let's see. Oh, I had to actually rewire one of my pigtails because I was having an issue with that headlight. There's a few more little things that I cannot remember. Man, I cannot remember off the top of my head, but I mean, for the most part, that's what it was. Titan headlights, touched up the axles, uh, touched up the frame. Uh, <laughs> gate delete by accident, uh, inner and outer door panels. Actually, I put a dash cam on it. Oh, coolest thing uh, for this thing security wise is that I got a security system put on it, remote start from, it's like two football fields away, it said it would reach, and uh, it has a lock system. Uh, I really do enjoy these switchbacks. They stay just like the headlights. They'll stay white, and whenever I use my turn signal, they'll turn amber just like the headlights do. But I mean, for the most part, that's pretty much all the recap. I did end up replacing this Band-Aid emblem or <laughs> Band-Aid decal with another Band-Aid decal since the other one was faded. And some people might say, well, I don't know why you just didn't take off, take that dent out. Well, it's gonna be 250 bucks to do all that and I'm not gonna pay 250 just for a little dent. This butt bed needs work itself already. So, I mean, it just really wasn't worth my time, especially all the work I need to put into this. Uh, also, uh, finally put my bolt lock back on the truck. I had my old dinky one back on, so now I got my bolt lock and that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and I replaced the 60 Titans. It was crooked, so I just bought another one and replaced it. But that's the new one right there. Straight for the most part, new decals. Jesus, biggest sponsor for sure. But in the end, we made it here safe and sound uh, my brother's jeep is just right over there truck is good running good everything so far no issues knock on wood uh, hoping to meet up with some cool guys down here that i was talking to on instagram but i think that's all for our day one. I know it was not very interesting, but I just wanted to get something uploaded since it's been a few days and uh, kind of just show you guys how long the drive was and whatnot. Um, I really appreciate you guys for watching the video and just don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell me what you think, what you want to hear and have a great day. Check out the bio for my codes. Thank you very much. Have a good one.